morning at Marwell Zoo and dung patrols out eagerly collecting an abundance of bowel movements. Because where there's poo, there's power to generate heat and keep other parts of the zoo warm. Until recently, 600 tonnes a year of the stuff was taken off site and composted with a significant carbon transport cost, but not anymore. It's definitely the first in the UK and as far as we know it may well be the first in the world. Uh, and a lot of zoos, uh, our colleagues around the country, are watching what we're doing very closely. They're very keen to see whether this does work. Uh, and if it does work, they've obviously all got the same problem. They've got lots of oil-fired buildings, they've got lots of big buildings that need lots of heat, and they've got lots of waste. So you all know how the first bit works. Food goes in, waste goes out. It's then brought by this Poomobile to this special energy centre. A digger then picks up all the old bedding and manure. You can see an awful lot of steam coming off it already and it dumps it into this giant shredder. After that, the manure goes through a series of pipes where it's dried and compressed into these highly combustible briquettes that are then fed into a furnace and used to heat thousands of litres of water. And these are some of the beneficiaries of all that posterior power. Santos the Sloth native to the jungles of South America, could continue doing very little in the zoo's hothouse, untroubled by the cold weather outside. And Dali, the crocodile monitor, can stretch his scaly limbs in subtropical climes. Apparently, desert-dwelling animals such as the oryx produce the best manure for making briquettes because their dung's generally dry. Given the urgent need to reduce our dependency on fossil fuels, a similar system's in the pipeline to use human waste to power towns and cities around the world. For now, this zoo is leading the way in creating a self-sustaining power station by simply harnessing some of the best fuel nature has to offer. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Hampshire.